Hi there, in this video we are going to talk about how you can uh, design a um, banner ad in, uh, in Scape. So um, actually the idea came uh, when I looked through this given website and uh, I saw that there were some ads which were kind of simple to reproduce and I found one which was very inspiring, which is this one. As you can see, it's almost a square. It's a 300 width by uh, 350 pixel by eight. And you just have uh, one image background and you get a logo, then you get some text. And I find out that it was kind of an easy ad to reproduce. So good one uh, to get started with. Um, so we're gonna see how we can make something uh, similar to this. So uh, the first thing that you need to know is that um, uh, advertisement when you saw them on website um, they can uh, let's say disappear from one day to another because it depends on the budget of the advertiser so when you find one which is in inspiring you uh, just make a screenshot and like this uh, you can keep those ads somehow forever um, then um, about uh, what's the size of the ad well uh, you will need this information when you will start to uh, make the images because you need to have uh, the right rate um, if the ad that you can see is uh, on the website then you can easily uh, just uh, get his dimension like this so let's imagine I would like to get the dimension of this given ad just do right click and just click on inspect the element and then uh, through the inspector I will get here the size in my case I know this one is a 300 by um, by uh, by 250 because you need to add those additional pixel here and there. Um, so he, uh, now I get the, in fact, the, uh, the right dimension expected for the ad. So that's typically the kind of thing that I can set uh, either in InScape or either in, um, in GIMP. I can just click over here in document properties and then just set uh, the width and weight uh, eight accordingly. Uh, of course you can make it bigger uh, that's the thing that i did here i make it uh, like 10 times bigger like this i can keep uh, the quality of um, of a picture um, then you need of course to have a to have a good picture so regarding the good picture what i have to say is kind of hard to find some uh, which are good uh, and which are for free. So if you would like to get some free picture, uh, just look on websites such as Pixel or such as uh, Unsplash when you can get some. Uh, you can as well get some uh, logos for free on Flat Icon, uh, but always look at the conditions which are um, uh, behind. Or if uh, you have money to spend, uh, you can of course go on uh, image banks such as uh, Shutterstock where you can in fact purchase uh, different, uh, different picture and like this you will have more more choices so once uh, your image is uh, chosen you will probably need actually to uh, transform this image in order uh, to have the the right fit so let's imagine for example that i'm taking this uh, this given picture in fact by default uh, this picture was uh that's uh, width long which is not uh, which is two widths uh, in my case so I needed to adjust it if you want to adjust it uh, in GIF you just need to click over here and then uh, you select the canvas size and then here you can adjust uh, the canvas accordingly so in my case I needed to adjust it uh, let me check I needed to adjust it uh, in order to keep the rate of 1.2 uh, which means that I needed to have a, a width of uh, 1728 uh, pixels so in order to do so uh, then you go over here and then you adjust the width and um, then of course you unlink those two and then uh, you can simply center it and like this you can resize it and have the uh, picture as as you wish so in my case uh, i took this uh, given picture that you can uh, that you can uh, see here and here now I have the, in fact the same rate as the 300 per 250. So once I get my picture right, I can import it uh, within Inkscape. So this is what I uh, what I did over here. Uh, then I ask myself about okay maybe this picture is too bright. So if you think that the picture is too bright, you can in fact adjust it uh, with the opacity in order uh, for your uh, for the rest of your message to be uh, let's say to be uh, more relevant so in my case i adjusted it up to 80 for example and uh, then uh, what you will need is of course to add some text so in order to add some text in um, in inkscape uh, what you can do is that you can just click over here in the text uh, port and then you can uh, write uh, your uh, your message accordingly okay and then once uh, your message is uh, properly written such as 
the case here, uh, you can then uh, increase it. So if you would like to make it um, at the right rate, uh, you need to keep uh, the CTRL uh, button on and like this, you ensure that the rate uh, stay the same. Okay, if not, uh, you will get something messy like this. So always uh, use the CTRL uh, keypad when you are uh, when you are using it. Um, then uh, what you'll probably need is actually to have uh, a nice uh, a nice text, and you will need uh, for this probably to use uh, what we call uh, the drop shadow effect. So uh, let's imagine. I'm just gonna make it a bit a bit more like this. Uh, let's imagine that uh, you would like your text to be a bit more relevant. Okay, I would like uh, my so, oops. I would like to be more relevant. Okay. So this uh, this given text over here. Oops. I'm just gonna make it like bigger like this. Let's imagine that this given text you would like it to have like a like a shadow effect. You just need to select it, and then you go over here on filter, and then you select uh, the shadow and glows, and here. Uh, you can select uh, the uh, the drop shadow, okay, and then you can have a live preview of uh, what it will look like, and then uh, you will see that your text will look like a bit uh, fancier than uh, than before. So that's exactly the same effect that I used on this given uh, text that you can see uh, here down below. Then uh, what you will need is actually how you can align properly your text among all your picture. So for this, uh, you need to select, in fact, the element on which you would like to play with. So let's imagine that I would like to align the picture which is in the background with uh, the text which is, uh, which is here. So you press Shift, you select your element, and then you select the second element. And then on the right, uh, you get here the Align and Distribute panel on which uh, you can decide how you would like uh, one to be adjusted with uh, the other one. And as you can see here, I can, uh, like this, adjust it um, according to what I want. If I want to distribute it properly along all the other elements, or if I just want to put it uh, right on the right, or um, right on the left, and so on and so forth. And then if you want to create a button, such as the one that you can see uh, over here, uh, what you need to do is that you need to take a rectangle, and then you design uh, your rectangle. And when you design your rectangle, you get the uh, fill and stroke property, which are here, where you can, in fact, set uh, the color of your choice with the opacity of, of your choice. And then in the stroke and style, you have the possibility to, de to decide, in fact, how you would like uh, the shape of your rectangle to, uh, to be. And that's how you can, in fact, adjust uh, the different corner in order to have a corner which are shaped uh, this way. And um, for the rest, so here I added an icon that I found out on um, on um, on this given website, the one that you can see uh, over here, the flat icon website. And uh, for the rest, uh, we are almost uh, almost down. So uh, when you are ready to export uh, your uh, your image, uh, by the way. Uh, you may want to play with Canvas, uh, things that uh, here I just added uh, to Canvas, but if at some point you would like to put one element um, below the other one, you will need uh, to play with uh, with Canvas, uh, with uh, layers, and uh, add layers like this for each of the elements that you, that you have. And once you are ready, well, you can just uh, export. So this is what uh, you get over here, and then you can select the image of your choice um, with the, the right size. And at the end of the day, I mean, in my case, um, I ended up with um, a banner such as this one. So seems not like the perfect ad, of course, as you can see, it's uh, the, the icon and the picture in itself are of course less uh, attractive than this one, but it's all about having the right, uh, the right picture. Uh, and uh, of course, it's uh, it of course takes times, and of course sometimes it takes money in order to get the right uh, picture. But you almost uh, got it. So how you can resize properly uh, your image, how you can uh, use opacity in order for your image to be less relevant, how you can 
add some text and how you can align it with other elements how you can put a drop shadow on your image and how you can at the end export it and that's mostly everything that you need in order to get started with banner ads thanks for watching